Jeannie Maxwell back again with another tempting nibble. This week we're tackling Janet Lee's meatloaf. It's really quite tasty. Uh, uh, don't worry, Norman Bates had nothing to do with it. This comes from Janet Lee, and it's her meatloaf. Looks rather like Psycho, doesn't it? Now, it's very simply prepared. All we're going to do is combine all of the ingredients in one big bowl and then mix it together with our hands. Now, we can put all of these things in here together and then mix it all together. Now, this is interesting. The moistening ingredients in this are the carrots and the sour cream, which is a rather unusual. I'm sure that Janet fixed this many an evening for Tony and little Jamie Lee. Well, that looks well combined. All right, now, keep in mind that it's important when you're mixing by hand to have something handy to wipe your hands off with afterwards. All right, now, we're going to uh, put this in a greased baking sheet and form it into a rather like an Indian now, isn't it? There we go. Quite charming. All right, now, we're going to bake this in a 350 degree oven until done, approximately 45 minutes. Keep an eye on it, though, and we'll be back to show you how it comes out. Stay with us. Well, here we are, back with Janet Lee's meatloaf. What are we doing with Janet Lee's meatloaf? <gasps> We're going to eat it. Doesn't it look delicious? Let's take a slice of it, shall we? Well, Janet, I can't thank you enough. Mm. Stay with us. What a nice recipe for family dinner. <laughs> if you'd like to try it, come by BreenieMaxwell.com for directions. Now, don't forget to listen to my NPR podcast this week and tune in again next week for more delicious dishes and innovative ideas. Bye now. The spirit is moving, the spirit is moving, traveling along.